Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I wanted to post -com this video because I wanted to just talk about it and the gameplay alone is so boring that if I didn't post comment, I think you guys would fall asleep. Uh, this is going to be one of those videos that we used to post during FIFA 19, which kind of has to deal with the game and the mechanics and calling it out. Sorry, I'm putting socks on. Uh, we're in foot champions, guys. We're using our team at the moment. I think we're like 22 and like three or 22 and two. Uh, we come across a guy named Sebalitos, 14 FC, um, Adama Traore, Aguero, Mane, Sissoko, Kovacic, Del Piero, Van Dijk, Blanc, Carvajal, and Robertson with Allison in net. As you guys know, I love to attack on FIFA, and I am, in my opinion, very, very good on attack. That is my strength with football, video games, and things like that. And this year, obviously, it's very hard to. Because of the way that the game defends for you. So, we are going to be live comming this gameplay, guys. I wanted to choose this gameplay from my stream because I I just couldn't believe it, man. This is, this is one of the things. This is, I think, the game that broke me into deciding that this is the worst video game I have ever played. Um, and the reason I say that, through all the time finesses, through all the bad arcadey broken mechanics of FIFA 19... At least there was goals, right? And this is kind of the game that broke me. Yes, this game is more football-like in real life because of the tactics with the parking the bus uh, and, and low-scoring games. But after all, it's FIFA, right? So we want to have um, fun. And this is a, an opponent who is playing a 4-2-3-1 uh, with Adama wide. He just does drag backs, man. He just pulls back. Uh, he's a very big possession warrior. But... You guys will be able to see that this opponent is literally the problem with FIFA 20. Um, he's literally the main issue with this game. Um, my opponent never takes any real risks on the attack. Um, he kind of likes to go wide, and then once he doesn't like it, he just goes back. Um, and that's the problem. And I think the biggest thing that I had against this guy was, why would you ever log on to a video game to play or look forward to just playing defense all night, right? Now, I wasn't playing my hottest FIFA. That's 100%. I was worn out. I had a charity tournament this day, um, and I had to literally get two more wins for Elite. The fact is that that obviously shouldn't take me much effort. But, yeah, I mean, like, I think the thing that I want you guys to watch with this gameplay is the amount of times that the AI is doing things for the opponent, and that's what really gets me over the over the board. But I even knew that he was going to go back Um so many times in this game and there's really nothing I can do. My formation was a 4-4-2. I was playing five or six depth and uh, to a point I put on team press and I'm going to spoil the game for you guys right now. Um, this game has no goals until extra time and when I go to extra time, I play team press and I start playing like a psycho and what happens from there is because my opponent continues to play his defensive style, I lose 2 nothing because I got so bored of this game that I decided to go attack and that, that for me is really tough because this game is very much like chess, and, and, and it's all about waiting for your opponent to, to, to play a piece. Now, some of you guys would say, well, Nick, don't you think it's acceptable that he's playing this way if he's trying to get a certain amount of wins? And no, I, I think there is to blame EA as much as there is to also blame the types of players playing this game. When I see that he's got comeback on his striker, comeback on his wing, comeback on his... It's just he's got comeback on all of his positions. Um, and all this guy does is he selects his center mids, and then once... I'm looking to make a pass. He literally selects his center backs. He just moves his center backs up. And that's all I could do. And literally, I'm sitting in here trying to find some sort of space. And there's literally, there's absolutely nothing. Uh, I remember in the second half, uh, I went to go to a 3-5-2. And I literally still couldn't find space. And 3-5-2 is arguably uh, the most, if like one of the most, if not the most attacking formation you could play. I mean, my 3-4-1-2 is also pretty good. But... There was just no counter for this, man. And, and this is why this is literally the most boring game I've ever played in my lifetime. Uh, genuinely. Because we're 22 minutes into the game now. There hasn't even been a shot both ways. Who wants to log on to a weekend game um, and, and just hold the ball with your center backs? We made a really nice pass there with Griezmann. <laughs> he just doesn't even control it. I, I don't even know. And look, I'm not stressed. I just want to bring you guys this gameplay and kind of just talk about it in hindsight. When I was playing this game, I was losing my mind. Uh, this is one of those games where I was on stream like going crazy because my opponent was just, it was dead, bro. Like this game was dead to play. All he did was drag backs. All he did was drag back back to his mids. Uh, when he didn't like something, he just kept going back. And every time he went forward, he did right here. Every time he came into my box, what happened? I took the ball from him every single time. My opponent 
had such a low attacking IQ of FIFA and football. And for me, the hardest part to swallow about this game is that I have to have plebs like these guys in the games with me, right? I am way better than these people at this game, and I'm very confident and cocky to admit that. There's no way that these guys are even on my wavelength, but but because of the bad touches, because of the, the defensive style of play, people get this kind of false thing that they're actually good at this game when the game is doing most of the stuff for you. Um, it's disgusting how assisted the game is, guys, and it it really disappoints me, man, in general. And I think I think the thing that he had on, which was the most effective for him, was I think he had a very narrow uh, narrow uh, width on defense. I think he was playing one width. I don't think this guy was playing one depth. I think he was playing three or four depth, but I think he was playing very narrow width, and he was just never truly committing uh, to anything going forward. And I think for me, that was the hardest part. Every time I got the ball back into his half, he was just having eight guys around me. He was doing a pressure after possession and a, and a drop back sequence. Um, that was frustrating, but I guess the title of this video, and I don't really know what it's going to be, but this is by far the most boring video game I have ever played in my lifetime, guys. I've never played a video game that made me so bored, um, and just so, like, just so tilted with the fact that I've played a whole half of FIFA and there hasn't been a shot. Like, I don't know who is, is trying to play video games like this. I don't know, and I, and I see people tweeting out screenshots of stuff like this all the time where they play a whole game and there's no shots. But yeah, it's it's truly ridiculous, man, in terms of what what I continue to see when it comes uh, to this game. And there you guys can see, I've got nothing and his team has already dropped back. So you know what I do? I go back to my center backs because what else am I supposed to do, man? I'm trying to do everything I can here. I was trying to force the ball in a little bit more. And it's just like to beat these types of players, man, you literally, and there's my, that by the way, that's my opponent's attacking IQ. He did a drag back into my center. He couldn't even string a pass, but to beat these types of players, you literally need to string like 20 to 25 passes in a row um, to even get a shot opportunity. And, and I think it's the most exhausting game ever for that for that, for that that reason, right? It's, it's just, look at this, man. There, there's nothing entertaining about this gameplay. There's nothing. There, guys, this is the deadest game I've watched in a while. Um, it's the same wide passes that he's making to his wide players, the same pass backs to his fullback. When he doesn't like anything, he just does a drag back out of it. Um, and it's just, it's so freaking repetitive, man. Um, and look, the thing about me and the way I play FIFA, I have two strikers up top. I'm not playing comeback on my strikers, man. These guys, they play, bro. They they bring everyone back, man. And that becomes frustrating. So you guys can see, at this point, I'm, at a, I'm in a 3-5-2. Man, I'm just looking for something, man. I'm looking for something to come on to the game and just save me, man. I have so many good players in this team. And my opponent has a team of the season. Mane, he's got some great players. And he's playing for 1-0 wins, man. It's just... Oh, it's so frustrating. So we even have, I think, five or six or seven depth on uh, our 3-5-2. So we're trying our best to literally uh, get something going. But I, I, you guys can't see my webcam because my webcam right now is over that. But I'm literally pointing at the webcam saying zero because my opponent has had zero shots, um, period. He's had zero shots. And I've had zero shots. I don't care what the halftime stats say, even if they did say we had a shot. This right here is why FIFA 20 is literally the worst game ever, man. It's like, it's so dead that the pl that people actually log on and play like this, bro. I, I don't, re sorry about the mic. I don't understand it though, man. It, it, like, it still triggers me. Looking on this game, it still makes me so upset. Um, not to mention, it's really hard, guys, to, I think a lot of you guys know this, it's really hard to um, do well on this game when you're playing somebody that does play a certain style, right? My opponent is playing very... Uh, very, very like drop back esque is what I would say, um, and that's that's <clears throat> it's challenging, man. It's really challenging to play somebody um, who just plays like this, man. I don't know. It's very, it's just unsettling, man. Like it, to play somebody that consistently plays like this the whole game. Not only is it boring, but it just starts to eat on you and and, and really trigger you. And I don't know, man. It's just I don't even. I'm out of words, guys, to say when I play stuff like this, but. Um, we've got Rashford on the wing there. We actually were looking pretty promising here. This is like the first time I thought I was going to get a chance. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to look for some attacking runs, something. Um, I take my first shot of the game. It gets auto-blocked by three of his defenders. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got literally nowhere to go here. So that's, that's when I knew after that I was in a little bit of trouble. And there is my opponent passing the ball out of bounds, guys. 
what can I say, man? This guy literally can't play football, and because EA have made a game that you can defend all game to stay in the game, he thinks he's a good player. He thinks he's a plus 15 ELO player. So I'm losing my mind, dude. I'm literally losing my mind here. And, I, and a lot of you guys watch the video might say, Nick, you didn't create anything. I didn't, bro. I literally didn't create one thing this game. Um, you're gonna, you guys just have to bank on the fact that, that you watch me and you know my highlights and that I'm a good attacker. Um, it's brutal, man. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just trying my best here to create something. There's Suarez with his super, super nice attacking um, and his super nice strength. Dude, I'm just like, at this point, I'm giving up. I'm just whipping the ball in the box. Like, please, somebody help me. Somebody on my team, please help me. Um, yeah, this was, uh, that was kind of it. Drag back with the center mid, find the other center mid. And uh, yeah, he just goes side to side, drag backs back, drag backs there. It's just, oh my God. Um, that's all this guy, <laughs> drag back again. He just kept doing drag backs, man. That's all he was doing. Um, drag back again. It's like, dude. What am I, like, these guys, bro, the, nah, man, it's just ridiculous, drag back again, first time shot, off a chip pass, yeah, they, these guys, man, it's just, it's, I don't know when he is gonna make a game that's good, and that, that, that defines some people who have football IQ, I don't know when that will happen, or if it will ever happen again, but I, until that day, we're gonna always have these players who are beating players that are, I'm gonna consider myself decent at the game, that then think they're decent or qualified, and that's just always going to be uh, a little bit of a uh, like a struggle, you could say. But look, I mean, look, look, guys, look at where the majority of the ball of this game is being held with my freaking center backs, man. Um, it's 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 insane, bro. The ball is being held the whole game, uh, you know, with my center backs, dude. So it's like, what what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know, man. And the thing is, bro, I had formation changed. I had done everything right. Drag back again. Drag back. I think I was going crazy at this point, dude. There was like one point in this game where I was just screaming drag back out loud because it's all my opponent was doing, dude. Every time he got down to the final third, there was no creativity in his attack. There was no passes. There was no triggering runs. All he did was just do drag backs and look for a chip pass on a first time shot. That's all this guy did, bro. Now he's team pressing me. I'm just like, yo, what? is going on in this game bro this is but this was by far the most that was my mistake this is by far my most boring game um of fifa 20 um by far i i hate to even post this video to show you guys how boring this game is um but yeah it's just it's uh it's something else man it is something else with this game um that was uh probably my opponent's greatest attack of the normal time in this game <laughs> um i don't even know if i've had a shot this game guys to be honest bros i don't even think i had a shot this whole game i really don't think i had a shot boys i don't know i literally couldn't create anything against this player but that's that's the problem now with ea bringing in so many good team of the season cards and things like that because ea has set such a high ability for uh artificial intelligence to defend for you this year the the, the computer this year is so smart that this is like playing on legendary, like more than legendary on squad battles, uh, like three times it because the computer is doing everything for everybody's game, teams now. It is so easy to compete. Like if you were to put the best player in the world versus somebody that played these types of tactics, the best player would win, but he would really fuck. He would struggle big time. Um, and and that's due to the computer and the and the and the success rate of how good uh, the computer like really is, man. And uh, and you hate to see it, but. Aguero, guys, his striker is playing CDM because he was defending so much with Aguero um, in that last sequence. So we get the ball up here with Luis Suarez. I did use a drag back there, a nice drag back to create the space. Um, we ball roll out. We literally have no options and eight defenders around us. Switch the play again. Try to find Rashford here. Um, takes a heavy touch. Our gameplay was not the best either. And uh, we lose possession again. At this point, I think I put on like team press or something. Dude, 0, 0 80th minute, man. What is the fun with this game? Um, yeah. So, yeah, we continue. Uh, I put Team Press on, and now you guys can see. Look at the difference between his defending and my defending. Look how many players I have back right now. Five players versus four. When I defend against him, I have... When I attack against him, I have 3v8. Uh, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. Because I refuse to play a certain way, man. I refuse to play like my opponent, dude. There's no chance... Um, 
I'm going to play the way that these guys play. I cannot do it for my own sanity, guys. Um, I cannot do it, dudes. It's just, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. I will never understand how somebody could play a full game of FIFA like this. This was so promising, man. And Suarez just, he took such a heavy touch. I thought I was going to counter this guy in the 90 and win the game, dude. I really thought it was going to happen, um, but it didn't. There he goes, ball roll backwards to his fullback again. And he takes 20 minutes to get up the field again. Uh, chip passes. That was the attacking IQ of my opponent in the 90th minute. A shot fake into my center back. It was just like, bro, what are we doing here? My center backs, to be fair, were getting a lot of practice at least this game. They probably were getting nice and comfortable. They were getting some nice touches on the ball all game uh, and things like that. But yeah, man, it's... Uh, and then that was the gameplay right there. Ramos, I, <laughs> I passed the ball to Ramos. He took a touch out of bounds, man. That was the state of my, uh, my gameplay responsiveness right there. It was brutal, man. It was literally brutal. So that was that, boys. That was the full time. <laughs> that was the full time of that game, guys. It was probably the worst uh, full time that I've played all year. I didn't play well, but also, um, but also, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we are going, uh, we are going back. Now to extra time, I'm literally sitting here ranting because, dude, it's not only this, like, it, I think FIFA 20 becomes less about losing and winning and the fact that you're just so bored when you play. I was so bored at this point of playing this game. I was like, yo, I don't know how I'm going to keep playing this game. I was so bored. So freaking bored, man. Um, I couldn't believe it. I was so bored and uh, I didn't know what to do. I was like, yo, what is good with this game? So I believe I went on team press. I think I hired my depth a little bit. I think I was just going psycho at this point. Like, yo, can I please get a shot on net um, in this game? Please, man. Like, Lord save me at this point. Um, and, and regardless of that, I think when you get to these types of games, when you're playing these types of players, all you want to do, win or lose, is get out of the game. This was my thought process. All I wanted to do was stop playing this game. Um, it was driving me freaking crazy. Uh, drag back, pass, and... You know what? That was actually a decent play. Uh, that was the first time my opponent did something on the attack. So I was like, okay, like, let's get it, right? This guy might be playing now, man. Maybe he was playing for extra time and now he wants to play. Um, but I knew that the number one thing I couldn't do against this opponent was let him score first. That was a great play from Griezmann to Suarez. And now we're on the breakaway here. Uh, he does well defending and he has like five center backs there all of a sudden. So that was really frustrating because I had a 2v2 and then all of a sudden he had all these players. But there you guys can see the team press is working for us. Um, we're doing well there. I just, the guy was so narrow, man. I, I don't know how to break this type of player down. I literally don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep watching the gameplay. We'll keep seeing what's good, uh, you know, with the gameplay and, and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really where the game was heading. Um, you know, my team's a little bit more open here because I'm playing a little bit more out. Uh, Rashford makes a big play there for us. I think the lack of Neymar for me really does hurt when I have to play these types of players. I think Neymar for me is such a good way to create space uh, that Mars, Eusebio, and, and uh, Suarez can't do. But I think the, the space creation that I do create with Neymar against players like this, I would say if I had Neymar, I probably would have beat this dude um, just because he would have enabled me to do a couple scoops, a couple things like that in the final third that would have just thrown this dude off because... Look, I, man, I, I think straight, fair play to this guy for being a good defender, but he just kept the ball the whole game and, and was sitting back. So, yeah. And I think for me, I just got a little unsettled here. I committed, and then uh, to be fair, it was a nice goal. It wasn't a bad goal. Um, my opponent started to actually play a little bit well on the attack. But that was the first shot, I think, of the game. Second shot of the game, total combined. 105 minutes of football, man. Uh, it's just like... Yo, and I've never seen, I've never watched a gameplay guys where like my gameplay, my attack is so stale. Like, come on guys. I, you know, I can play like, you guys know I attack, man. I have zero goals in 105 minutes. Um, and it's just like, yo, I, I've lost my head at this point. I'm like, yo, I'm calling this dude all types of names. I'm basically saying like, yo, why are you playing this game? If you're playing this way, um, that is like the main thing I understand. Why would you log onto this game? If there's no monetary gain to play like this. Right, if you're not making money, if you're not making prize money, what are you doing, man? Like, what you're gonna make an extra 50k um, in weekly? So I go with 10 depth here. I'm like, I'm like, I'm going all out, dudes. I'm going all out. I'm like, at this point, who cares, man? Who cares? So yeah, that would probably be later my downfall. We went on 10 depth, guys. 
And uh, yeah, you guys will uh, you guys will see the rest. We go in ten depth after all that, and uh, we start moving the ball around a little bit here. I just got nothing though. You guys can see. Look at his three. Look at Mane. He's in a four two three one. Look at Mane. Mane is so tucked into his center mids there on the start. Um, it's gross, man. It's fucking disgusting. Just look at his left and right attacking mids, guys. When I'm going at him, and look at where they are on the pitch. They're literally hugging. Kovacic and uh, and uh, Sissoko. Shit's wild, man. It's wild, dude. And then, uh, yeah, I'm obviously on the high depth. And then this is going to leave me a little bit more vulnerable. Ramos commits over. I move my keeper. And that's 2-0. And I literally left the game. <laughs> I was like, I'm out of here. I think he started shushing me. Yeah, he's shushing me. He's shushing me, man. The guy literally shushing me. The these types of players are the biggest disgrace to the gaming community, man, in general. Because, again, as I said, they're not making money off the game, and they're not making prize money off the game. So they play like this, and then they shush the whole game. So, I don't know, man. This, this is just why FIFA 20, this gameplay right here, I mean, it's just so boring, this game. It's the most boring game I've ever played in my life. Um, but thank you guys for watching, man. I just wanted to go over and show you guys this gameplay. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.